Well, episode one fucking hundred of Suck Chips. How about that? How did that happen? What am I doing with my life? Apparently this. Now this program has gotten a little off the rails as of recent because of some personal issues, so let's just get it back on track and just focus on fucking potato chips, okay? Today we're starting a little jaunt through a hodgepodge collection of European chips. And the first one we have today, that would be Western Europe, by the way. And the first one we have today is one of two bags from a company called Iberica Spirit. And they're from Spain. Now, I looked this company up and I was not able to find a whole lot of history here about where they come from. This is not the most famous brand of potato chips in Spain. I, I, I forgot the name, but there's some like major brand that's been around forever. So these are kind of like the alternative, more like artisanal high-end chips that are sort of like the alternative to like whatever their national standard brand is. I'll figure that out and I'll hunt them down later. And this one, this brand really leans into like Spanish flavors. They like to consider themselves to be like tapas chips and everything like that. And just judging by the classed up bag, you know, they're really going for something elevated. So this will be interesting to try. I bought this at some random fucking bodega in the East Village. I got a bunch of strange imported shit there. You never know what you're going to find in some of these places. You got to you gotta always look. Sometimes it happens in unlikely places. And this particular flavor is called The Spaniard. And it's Iberian ham, olive oil, and tomato flavored chips. And there's just a little blurb on the back that's saying, uh, Iberica are the deepest essence of the food soul of Spain ever created. Chips. Yeah, some hipsters made these, but okay. Looks fun. And why the fuck not? It's really just all about the potato chips, isn't it? So, thick bag. Kind of full. Wow, thick. Thick chip, look at that, that's nice. Can't, I never smell like anything. It smells like, like cardboard, I mean. Give it a minute. What the hell is going on here? The chip is chunky, crispy, good. I think they might be a tiny bit stale, but I can test out the flavor. Not a lot going on here. It does have a little bit of a sun-dried tomato taste and sort of a meaty flavor. Ham and olive oil. <clears throat> yeah, move on, not bad. Regrettably, they are a bit stale. When the fuck did I buy these? I'm getting nervous about all these other chips that have been sitting around here for a while. It has that unmistakable taste when it gets stale. Not my favorite way to celebrate the 100th episode of this delightful program that I appreciate all you motherfuckers watching every day. But, I mean, these are right. I do have one, one more bag from this company. I'm right? curious what else they can do. They're not bad. I like the chip themselves. The flavor is a little hard to pin down, but I would fuck with other flavors of these. I would try other ones just to see what they do. They're not greasy at all, which is really great. Not bad. You guys ever think about dying? <laughs> 